Hello fellow viewers. Welcome back to our channel Travel and Jobs. We hope you all are doing great. Finally the long-awaited news is out. The UK government has finally released a new statement of changes after amendments to the various rules. The new statement of changes to the immigration rules was published on the 19th February, which makes significant changes to the skilled workers visa, care workers visa, dependent visa and Ukraine humanitarian visa schemes. The full document can be downloaded in the UK immigration website. The link will be left in the description below for you to check. Therefore, in today's video, we will give you a summary of all the new rules on the skilled workers visa, health and care workers visa and dependent visas. So make sure you watch the video through till end, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to always be notified when we publish new updates. Without any further delay, let's begin. The changes are not very different from what was announced in December. The difference is that the statement of changes only confirms and adopts the rules that were already announced. Let's begin with changes to the care workers' visas. The changes for care worker visas in today's statement of changes were announced in December as part of the five-point plan to cut net migration. Care workers will be prevented from bringing their dependents to the UK and care providers in England who wish to sponsor migrant workers will need to be registered by the Care Quality Commission. On 4 December 2023, the Prime Minister and Home Secretary announced a plan to plan to curb immigration abuse and cut net migration. This plan, alongside the package we have already introduced to restrict student dependence, is expected to mean around 300,000 people who would have been eligible to come to the UK under last year's rules, would not be able to. These changes include some of the measures announced in that package, namely preventing overseas care workers and senior care workers from bringing their dependents to the UK, and requiring care providers in England who wish to sponsor migrant workers to be registered by the Care Quality Commission CQC. These measures will ensure we continue to protect our NHS and social care systems, while addressing significant concerns that have emerged since the introduction of the visa. About high levels of non-compliance and worker exploitation and abuse within the adult social care sector, particularly for overseas workers employed within care occupations, care workers and senior care workers who are already in the route will be able to extend their permission with the same sponsor and settle without the CQC regulation requirement applying to them. They will also be able to bring dependents, including in cases where they change jobs to another sponsor who meets the CQC regulation requirement. The changes to the immigration rules are being laid on 19th February 2024. The changes to close the Ukraine family scheme and provide one single out-of-country route for Ukrainians to come to the UK under HFU will come into effect on 19 February 2024. All other changes will come into effect on 11 March 2024. The Work Rights Centre, which is a charity that supports migrants in the UK, said the closure of the UFs will come as a cruel shock to people in the middle of making an application to join a family member in the UK. In a thread on X, the Work Rights Centre noted the changes will have huge consequences for Ukrainians seeking safety in Britain. Effective immediately, only those with British or Irish citizenship, settled status or indefinite leave to remain can sponsor a Ukrainian person under Homes for Ukraine. This excludes Ukrainians themselves. We were preparing to submit a Homes for Ukraine application for a Ukrainian mother to sponsor her daughter to flee Ukraine and join her in the UK. We will have to tell her the scheme has closed and her daughter will need to find a new route to safety. These were the main points in the latest statement of changes announced on the 19th of February 2024. For skilled workers visa, dependent visas and others, the changes remain the same as those which were announced before to take effect from March 2024. For full details, follow the link in the description below to read it well and understand better. 
We hope this information was very helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to always be notified when we publish new updates. Have a great day.